You won't guess how Elon Musk actually spends his billions. It's safe to say that most people in the world, even those without involvement in IT and business, know who Elon Musk is. Thanks to his work with companies such as Tesla, SpaceX, and PayPal, Musk has become the wealthiest man in the world. His net worth as of June 2023 has been estimated by Forbes to be $248.8 billion. So how does Elon Musk spend his billions? We're going to find that out. Hi everyone, welcome to Money and Fame, where we talk about all things celebrity, wealth, money, and fame. Before we start, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date. Let's dive into it. Elon Musk was born in Pretoria, South Africa in 1971. His family was wealthy, and at the age of 10, he became interested in computers, teaching himself how to program. His family was anti-apartheid, and he had no wish to complete his compulsory military service. Through his Canadian-born mother, he was able to get a Canadian passport. In that time, he also briefly attended the University of Pretoria. After arriving in Canada, he spent a year with a cousin in Saskatchewan before attending Queen's University in Ontario. He transferred to the University of Pennsylvania two years later, getting a bachelor's degree in physics and economics. Although he was accepted to do a PhD in material science at Stanford University, he dropped out after just two days to take part in the internet boom. Along with his brother and some friends, Elon founded Zip2, which developed an internet city guide with maps. Elon did the coding at night, and when Zip2 was sold to Compaq for $307 million, Elon made $22 million himself. Later that year, Elon went on to co-found X.com, which was one of the first federally insured online banks. X.com merged with online bank Confinity in 2000 as Confinity had a money transferring service called PayPal, which was very popular. Elon was initially CEO of the merged company. However, he was ousted by the board following disagreements, although he remained as the largest shareholder. He received $175 million when the company, renamed PayPal, was sold to eBay in 2002. In 2001, Elon's attention shifted to the stars, or more specifically, Mars. He became interested in placing growth chambers for plants on the planet. When his attempts to buy intercontinental ballistic missiles from Russia didn't pan out, he founded SpaceX in 2002 using $100 million of his own money. As the company's CEO and chief engineer, Elon oversaw development of their first rocket, Falcon 1. After several failed attempts that caused the company to totter on the edge of bankruptcy, Falcon 1 eventually launched into orbit in 2008. SpaceX was subsequently awarded a $1.6 billion contract by NASA for 12 flights from SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft. In 2012, the Dragon vehicle became the first commercial spacecraft to dock at the International Space Station. SpaceX has continued to work using reusable rockets and developing autonomous spaceport drone ships which deliver ocean-based recovery. In 2018, the Falcon Heavy was launched, carrying Elon's personal test Tesla Roadster. In 2020, SpaceX became the first personal company to send astronauts into space when it launched its first crewed flight, the Demo Slash 2. Elon Musk is probably best known for his involvement with Tesla. It was incorporated in 2003 by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpenning. Elon led the Series A round of investment in 2004. He put in $6.5 million of his own money, becoming majority shareholder and joining the company as chairman. Eberhard was eventually ousted after a series of disagreements, and Elon took over as CEO and product architect, a position he still holds today. Under Elon's leadership, Tesla began making noteworthy vehicles, starting with the Roadster in 2008. This was the first commercially manufactured all-electric car to use lithium-ion batteries. In 2012, Tesla released the four-door Model S, followed by the crossover Model X in 2015. The company's entry-level model, the Model 3, was introduced in 2017. It went on to become the best-selling plug-in electric car in the world, selling 1 million units by June 2021. Tesla launched an electric pickup truck called the Cybertruck in 2019 
and the crossover Model Y in 2020. Elon introduced other innovative practices at Tesla, including making so-called gigafactories, which are massive lithium-ion battery and electric vehicle factories. It goes without saying that Tesla has proven to be a game changer for the motor vehicle industry. Tesla became the most valuable car maker in the world, and in 2021, it became worth $1 trillion, the sixth U.S. company to achieve that feat. Besides SpaceX and Tesla, Elon is also responsible for Tesla acquiring SolarCity, where it merged with the company's battery unit to become Tesla Energy. SolarCity owns the largest solar plant in the U.S., but since it is owned by Elon's cousins, several Tesla shareholders filed lawsuits against Elon, although he was cleared of any wrongdoing. Elon's company SpaceX began development of the Starlink constellation of low-orbit satellites, which were designed to offer satellite internet access. By 2019, 60 satellites became operational. During the Ukraine war, Elon donated over 20,000 satellite terminals to Ukraine along with free data subscriptions. The donation cost SpaceX $80 million. Neuralink is another company that Elon has co-founded using $100 million of his own money. Neuralink is a neurotechnology company whose goal is to combine human brains with artificial intelligence. This would be done by embedding devices in the brain. While this does sound rather freaky, it has many advantages, such as being able to improve memory and treat neurological conditions such as Alzheimer's and spinal cord injuries. Another Elon company is the interestingly named Boring Company. Founded in 2017, it constructs tunnels designed for high-speed travel. The latest company that Elon has under his control is Twitter. Despite resistance from Twitter's board, he was able to acquire the famous company in April 2022 for a whopping $44 billion. However, after Twitter shares sank, he did have second thoughts about the deal. After being sued, Elon finally went through with the acquisition in October 2022. Given the many significant businesses he owns or has majority share, it is hardly surprising that Elon Musk is worth $248 billion. However, it is worth remembering that in November 2021, his net worth was an even more stunning $340 billion. That's right, Elon has lost over $100 billion. But don't feel bad for him, he probably didn't even notice. So how does he spend his vast wealth? Well, a significant part of it is plowed right back into his companies or into new ventures. His $44 billion acquisition of Twitter is a great example. He also co-founded Neuralink with $100 million of his own money. He further dumped another $100 million to make SpaceX a reality. As a workaholic, Elon clearly has no qualms about throwing his money at ideas that he feels will work. The fact that he has often been stunningly correct has only confirmed his reputation as a genius. Elon is also involved in philanthropic activities through the Musk Foundation, of which he is president. This foundation has made over 350 donations, although Elon has been criticized for donating less than 1% of his net worth. On the flip side, when you are worth as much as Elon Musk, it does work out to a considerable amount of money. For example, in 2012, the foundation donated $160 million. Of course, as someone who can buy most things on Earth, Elon has indulged in quite a few lavish purchases. Early on, as CEO of X.com, Elon bought himself a McLaren F1 when he first made it big, showing that he does have an appreciation for the finer things in life. Things with the McLaren didn't work out as planned, however. Elon lost control of the car while trying to demonstrate its acceleration to a friend. The car, which was uninsured, was totaled. After that, Elon turned his attention to real estate. In 2020, he bought four Bel Air mansions for $55 million. In 2020, he bought Gene Wilder's old home in Bel Air. In 2020, he also purchased the Bel Air Colonial for $17 million. 
Situated on 1.7 acres of land, this seven-bedroom estate has its own fruit orchard and was Elon's primary estate for a time. However, being a maverick, Elon has decided that he doesn't need to own houses after all. In total, he has seven properties, all of which he has sold off. His present abode is a far cry from the luxurious Bel Air mansions that he had earlier favored. His home is said to be a small $50,000 rented one in Boca Chica, Texas, close to SpaceX's headquarters. Elon has declared he wishes to live a simple life, concentrating solely on his enterprises. However, there are also media reports that Elon is actually living in an 8,000 square foot mansion in Austin. He has also admitted to owning what he has described as an events home in the Bay Area. So we should probably take Elon's claim of not owning a house with a pinch of salt. Well, that's it from us for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I have selected two more that I think you may enjoy here and here.